Hi everyone, my name is Genesis William and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do an afro, an African air afro. See, the African air is really, really complicated, like, we don't have much tutorials out there where they teach how to do this. A few tutorials I've seen on YouTube, but I've not really seen one that really does it well. So I said, okay, I should do mine and teach you guys how to do it. I'm going to be using 3ds Max and I'm going to be using Onatrix plugin. It's a plugin for 3ds Max. Uh, it's created by a company called FA, I think it's on Maya also, but today we are using 3ds Max and we should get started. So let me give you a brief overview of what the African Air style is. The African Air style is what they call coily air. As you can see here, it's really, it's, it's really messy, it's like, it's crazy, it's not straight, unlike the Caucasian Airstar, the African Airstar is really, really coily, and it's a mess, it's like intertwined together, so as you can see, it's really, really crazy. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually get the same effect, the same, the same messiness, and at first you might look at it and be like, oh my god, the African Air is like really crazy, it's impossible to do and all that kind of stuff. But not to worry, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So let's get started. So uh, this is the character we're going to be doing. Uh, this is the character I sculpted in 3ds um, in ZBrush, and I rendered here in 3ds Max with V-Ray. And yes, I am using V-Ray for my renderer for this. You can use Arnold, you can use any renderer you want, but I'm using V-Ray for this because I've been using V-Ray for as long as I can remember. So. Uh, you can see my, you can see we have that coily messiness here and all that goodness of African uh, style. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this. But well, first of all, for all you guys who have not used Onatrix before, I'm going to be showing you like the basics and how to just achieve simple stuff in Onatrix. So first of all, we're going to do the basics, then we'll come back here to do this. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to just open a new scene. Uh, yep. Take this out. And I'm just going to create a sphere. For those those of you guys that I hope you know how to use 3ds Max, I'm assuming you have the basic knowledge of using 3ds Max. Yeah. So you just have a simple sphere, and let's just maybe increase the subdivision a bit. It just helps. So I'm going to convert this to an editable polygon. In the, and let's see. Let me just cut this down. I don't want too much, it's just for example reference. So, so this is going to be our scalp where we are going to generate the air from. The surface of this is where the air is going to start from. So how are we going to do this? We're just going to go to modifier and um, let's take this off. Uh, go to one modifier and we're going to do this. We go to OX. OX, OX from guys, so guys from surface, OX guys from surface. So, see, you see this. At first, it's always advisable to duplicate your scalp or the surface you want to use. So, I'm just going to control Z and just clone this just in case you just want to use it again. And I'm going to, I'm going to hide this. This is what I want. So we are going to work on this so just in case. And uh, we're going to go back to the model for this. You can actually do this if you have this on your ribbon. You can actually just select it from, I think it's here. Yeah. I can see it. Yes, this is it. <laughs> Sorry, I hope I didn't waste anybody's this time. Anyways. Uh, so we can see this, what I just did here is the same thing, I can just delete this. I just want to go as basic as possible so that you guys can understand what this software can do. So um, just go to OX Guides, where is Guide from Surface, too much work. Yeah, see it's the same thing, just the same thing. So what it's actually doing is actually creating guides, like lines perpendicular to the surface if that makes sense i think that's the word just generating lines from the surface so you can see if i unpack this cloned you can see what's happening here you can see just creating lines from this surface so so what we can do now is you see ox is guys from surface what we can do is now is reduce the length of the guide so we can see that guide length over here and we can just take this down because yeah, i think this is good enough Yes, this is how long the strands are going to be. So 
round message in random messages how random the ears are so you can just put this to like 100 it's always good to do this because the the human ear is really random so the number of points are the number of points that form this line this guide so just take it like a spline the amount of dots on the spline so this just was so, so right now it's saying on this line right now it has two dots just in case you want you want to cover it i'm going to explain this better as we move on to the next step which is adding the the air and making it look really nice so i'm just going to put this at uh i'm just going to leave it here just to explain it better in the future so what next we're going to do is uh we're going to say um ox air from guides that's what we're going to do ox air from guides so let's look for that yeah ox air from guides wait come on come on i hate this There's so much yes this is it so you can see this so it's what it, what it did is it turned its spline into a plane actually as you can see you can actually see the 10 points you see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's the exact point so that's the resolution like a segment that's the exact point so if we take this up you can see it's increasing to what I like doing, I like putting this on 100, but I just want to explain this better for you. So, we're going to leave it at 10. Yeah, so that I can make you, so that you guys can understand what's going on. So, um, OX Air from guys. And the way on that trick works is the same way 3ds Max works. Then the modifiers are stacked. So, if I was to put this on the air, it's not going to work. So, you, oh, the Air from guys is going to be the next thing we are going to do. So, First of next thing we're going to do is how we're going to modify the the plane which is the air is to uh, go to settings. We are going to go to settings. OX settings, I guess. It's always hard to find. I don't know why. Yes, OS render settings. So this is the render settings. So you can see we have a graph editor here. So what this is trying to say that this is the root and this is the tip. So the root is this fat and the tip is this small. So but we don't want that one day the root be a bit smaller. As you can see, it's affecting it on the sphere. You can see it on the sphere as adjusting. And we take the middle one there and we put it here. So almost something like this. Let's put this up here. So this is what we have here. This is our air. Just so you note. Know, on the air from where we have 10,000 air, but obviously this is not 10,000. I think what it's showing is um, viewpoint, it's just showing 1,000 counts. It's just showing, it's going to show 1,000 air just to give safe memory. So, because if we put this at 10,000, that will be a lot of air. Let me see if I can do that. Let's add it. Not a zero. Yes, this is the actual air you can see, but we don't want that. So, since it's viewport, we don't want that. Hope I'm making sense. Oh, but making sense guys anyways moving on so we have our strands of air so we have every strand on the surface of the sphere yeah we can like this so you can see that anyways next step next step the next thing we'd like to do is uh go to v-ray or natrix modifier so what this does is enables you to use v-ray material and also render in v-ray so actually render the viewport to render this air in v-ray because if you just if you if you don't have this on v-ray can see it real lights won't affect it nothing is going to work it's just going to see a blank scene and nothing is going to work so this, this is what the v-ray modifier does and that's what you have to do so next thing we're going to do i'm going to show you something else that you can use but it's not what we're going to use in the main course just to explain what this software this plugin actually does so i'm going to show you ox um um i think it's ox guides um editor something like that let me see ox i uh, somewhere ox edit guides so what we're going to do is bring this under here now we want to we want to uh click on this which is we're going to start combing. You can actually do a lot with this. So this edit guide is really, really powerful. As you can see, if you come here, you see comb brush. And you come here, you see select brush. 
and um, I think this is rotate brush, and this is scale brush, this is cut brush, and this is grow and shrink, and this is paint brush, and uh, grab brush, and all that. You can you guys can go and experiment, but most of the time, this is the two things you're going to use. You're going to use the comb brush, and you're going to use the um, cut brush. Uh, just to help style the hair, this is what you're going to use to style this hair. Like every brush setting, you have the size and you have the strength of the brush. So we can actually reduce this, and you can see in the scene is reducing. I think you can actually, uh, um, I think there's a shortcut for this. Uh, I can't remember. Sorry, I'm going to look that up. And Basically, you can just do this so I don't waste anybody's time trying to figure out what shortcut is. Anyways, uh, right now, if we just start stroking this, if we click and drag, you can see what it's doing. It's actually combing this air. So you can see how amazing this is. It's just like a comb. It's just like you're styling like a real air and all that kind of stuff. And if we go back up down this level, you can see our guides. This is our channel where it's now combed. And it's looking, this is just amazing. So, um, if you want to cut, you can just click and you can see it's trimming down the the edges. So, you can actually style here like we would if you, if you have any experience in barbing or cutting hair. <laughs> I think this subject will come, will come easy for you. So, anyways, moving on, we are not using this. I just wanted to show you that and what you can actually use to style your hair in the future. So, um, we are going to delete this. Because we don't need it because we're trying to create, we are trying to create an afro and we don't need that for the afro okay we have randomness i think we, i don't it's too random so i'm just going to take this randomness to like 50. so i think this is better yep so anyways uh the next thing we're going to do next thing we're going to do is um add the coiling like I told you before, the black, the African air coils. It's not straight like Caucasian or Asian air or Europe air or <laughs> Europe people's air. And it's coiling. So we obviously have to use this. As you can see here, as you can see here, you can see it's coiling. It's just coiling. It's not straight. It's coiling. So we have to get that effect. So you see what we see what we got here. It's a... Uh, it's coiling and it's coiling we have two types of coil we have the wavy and we have the coily spiral loy which is what we're going to use we use this if you're just doing a caucasian air and you know when the air is flat and it has this zigzag coilingness to it so this is what you will probably use if you're using it if you're doing a straight air um, a caucasian kind of air a white man's air or we're doing a black man's air yeah. so we're going to use this and you can see you see what happens here See how coil it is, it's messy and all, and it's sharp. And the human hair is not this sharp. You can see it's really it's like low polygons and all that kind of thing. So what we're gonna go, we're gonna go back here and the number of points. This this is why I didn't adjust it at first. The number of points we're going to increase it, and you can see what happens. Now we increased it to 29, and now it's smooth. And it's looking nice but it's still not enough because we're still going to mess this up and make it look more realistic right now it's just like single strand of air coiling so we're going to make it like 80 i think 80 is enough so we have more resolution for air we should just make it 100 usually this why if i just put it 100 i don't care I just do this. so right now we'll go back to coiling and you can see well we have some parameters here uh, this standard deviation, we're just going to take this to zero. I don't really like using this. I use this sometimes just to give it a little, ran a little bit of randomness. Or if you're, if you're not careful, it might mess things up for you. So this is what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on phase. And we're going to focus on the magnitude. So we're going to put this to zero so I can explain it better for you guys. And uh, zero. Uh, okay. So the magnitude is the how big how big the uh how that produces how big the waves are how big the coils are going to be that's what the magnitude is and the phase controls the total amount of coils if that makes sense so let me just show you now this is how big so we are doing this we don't we don't have any coils so nothing is happening so this is our issue let me make this big sorry i've been using that small screen 
Let me just be. Uh, right now, we can see nothing is really happening. So if we increase the um, phasing, you see now it's coiling. It's just creating a spiral thing. So we're going to put this like maybe three. I think three is enough enough coil. So we can see you can see what happens now. We have like coils, just different coils. And now if we increase the magnitude, you see what happens. It's really big, but we don't want that. We just want something like this. And I think the length of this hair is pretty much. Uh, I'm just going to go back to this, and I'm just going to take the length down to like two point, just two. Okay. So, and we're going to go back to strands, and um, so you see now if we increase this, let's just make it coil a little bit more, more coils. Yes, I think two is good. So let's make it bigger a bit. Yeah. Now we have our coil, but it's still not looking like this. It's like oh, uh, oh Genesis, yes, they are coils, but. It's not looking like an afro. Yes. Now, the next thing we're going to do is this is the only grill. This is what makes afro looks like afro. This is what makes an African hair looks like an African hair. And it's freeze. So what freeze is, is freeze messes up the strands. So that's what it does. It just messes it up. And like I told you before, an African hair is messy. It's just totally like massive amount of chaos going on here so and that's what freeze does so freeze is like the king of chaos right now and let's take down freeze let's take down the scale so that i can explain this better mm. okay so let's take down let's take um bring up the amount of um freeze and let's take, bring the scale up so you can see if we take up the scale it just increase how chaotic the freezes so we're gonna put this. Uh, I want it a bit chaotic, so I can exaggerate it a bit, so I can show you guys what this really does. So you guys go ahead and play with these settings to get your what you really want. And note, guys, this is not how it's gonna be, because we know we are just showing one thousand strands here. We have ten thousand strands. So when we render this, it's gonna look beautiful. Anyways, now we have outliner. So what outliner is? Let me take this to zero two. Is outliners that are those is that stick out like the human air is not perfect no air is perfect even for the freeze even if you're doing a straight air it's not perfect you still need freeze so this freeze actually makes it look original or should i say realistic that's how the human air is supposed to be the human air is supposed to look very realistic and have this imperfectness imperfectionness to it so if that makes sense anyways uh we're going to take this um percentage to like um point three and we're going to take the freeze amount to this so we see some air sticking out as you can see here it's there are longer ones and this is taking it from this is this taking this from the freeze amount so if we increase the percentage to 100 that means 100 or 100 percent um, one percent that's 100 actually one percent that means all the freeze are just going to stick out which doesn't make sense so we have to put this lower amount because we don't want all the the freezer um freeze nest to stick out if that makes sense so i'm just going to put this so you can see you can see how it's trying to make it stick out and let's take this amount up and let's bring the chaos out yeah all right let's let's take the chaos like this so you see see now it's just chaotic now already you can get the feel of the african it's already looking like this right now i'm confident it's looking like that you know it's we're still in the viewport and we're not seeing it well. So we can see this this out outline is working well, it's sticking out some, which are, that's how the human air is. You can see some are sticking out. I know I'm exaggerating, exaggerating it a bit, but that's how it works. And I just want you guys to understand this before we can move to the main, the main thing, the main tutorial, the main afro. So, anyways, that's that. So, what we're gonna do next next is i think that's all we got the afro we got the freeze we got the coiling everything is looking nice we got render setting and let's take the thickness a bit well, let's let's take it down rather 
I think it's good. I think it's good. Yeah, we don't want it to be. So, and you can see, we can still see we need more segments. So, we go back down here and we'll put it to maybe 120. I think this is better. This is better. Really, this is better. Okay, now time to render. So, what we're going to do, we're going to add some light so that we can see because we're in darkness right now. The dark side. We're going to top view. I'm just going to put this here. Take this up. Put the perspective view. Take this up. I'm using the keyboard shortcut to navigate. You can actually navigate it through here, the front view. Uh, I've never used this <laughs> the top view. Or you can press Alt W to bring out the four views and uh, come here and Alt W again. But I know the keyboard shortcut. So. I might do a basic tutorial in the future on how to use three years maps uh, in the future. Actually, so, anyways, moving on. So we got this light here. Let's bring it forward a bit. And let's put it like this. Bring it down. Let's um, take the lens down. Take this down. Yes, let's bring it down so we can focus. So we can catch up those highlights. Okay, now we're going to put this at yes, let's leave this as 30. I'm going to shift and drag to duplicate. And I'm just going to put this here. I'll put this in make this at 15 and we'll mirror this, make this a copy, and bring this here. So we got our light set. This is just a basic three-point lighting. Yeah, so uh, we can make this maybe 12. Makes sense a bit, but 10. And go to options, make this invisible, make this invisible. We don't want to see this light in our scene, this is invisible. And we'll go to the material editor, we'll press M. We'll bring this here. We'll go to material, we'll go to V ray, we we'll go to V ray and material. Yes, we're gonna use this. I'm going to custom, we we'll just go to black shiny. Okay. Let's click on this, click on our air, sign the material, and uh, Okay, let's render this. Let's render this. Let's render this. So we're going to go to render editor and uh, let's make this thousand thousand pixel by a thousand pixel. And go to perspective, go to show safe frame so we can now have a frame in this. So I'll bring this closer so you can see this up close and personal. And, and let me bring this, oops, and bring this. And um, what next? Go to V-Ring, uh, we'll use the bucket. But let's start with the um, view app here. Yep. We need to render this system. So it's rendering. But I can see now we can see through. So we need more air strands. So I don't want to see through. Is I want the edge to just totally cover the whole surface so we can't see the scalp or anything. So we're going to put this to 20. We're just going to double this. 20. And I'm going to run here. So I think this is good. And I'm going to uh, pause this and come back when the rendering is done. So we're done. We're done rendering. And uh, this is what we got. Guys, looking beautiful very nice we got our chaos 
we got a strand hook sticking out, making it look making it look natural, it's looking nice, looking cool. Uh, what I did was uh, I stopped the rain render the last setting we did and I just made a few adjustments because the result goal was the result I got wasn't that awesome. In case you guys are fooling along and you didn't get this exact result, what I did was uh, I just went to uh, the coiling and I reduced the magnitude to, to 0 0.5 and uh, I think I, I I didn't touch the face and I didn't touch that and uh, I went to from guys and I increased this to 30,000 that's all I did and just to increase the, the amount of um, air strands on the surface of this sphere it's not this way anyways but on this uh, just to increase the amount of air we have so anyways uh, that's it guys we can see it's looking beautiful as let, let me enlarge this and let's compare it with this you can see it's looking the same the, the same the same chaos the same strands we have the coiliness right here yeah, it's a bit pixelated even if it's 1000 pixels right yeah but you can see this uh, if you like this well because the light setup i did wasn't it's not all that awesome just to, for you to see the air and make it bright um but if you should do some really nice lighting you get practically the same result with some hdri and all that kind of good stuff but that's it it's looking nice looking beautiful so we are going to be going to i'm going to end this here because i want to stop this uh i want to make it two parts part one part two because this is the basic for you to just get your feet wet in creating the afro thing but guys it's the end I, like you could actually know what the part two if you're just trying to create this kind of afro and just stop don't go watch the part two because you don't need it you could actually just click this um select this shift select this you can copy uh and you just create uh, let me see let me see if i can create something so that you can see you can create use it as a preset actually so you can just create a sphere and convert this to uh, yeah, let's make it smaller so yeah let's make it smaller and convert this to a readable poly and uh and paste you just just paste voila we got we got another for this is a ball, a four ball. Okay. It's just the same thing, the same thing you added here. And we have this. So we could go ahead and render this and it will look sweet, it'll look beautiful, just the same way. You can have an afro ball uh, if that if that's what you want. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so uh next one I'm going to teach you guys how to in the part two. I'm going to teach you how to just take this a, a, a little bit step further and maybe create some chaos you know you can see this is not just round it's not just smooth it's that's some some i mean it, I, when i was modeling this when i was creating this character i wanted to make it i wanted to like push myself a bit so i wanted to make it a bit challenging so i wanted the afro big and i wanted it just a little bit chaotic and so in the part two i'm going to just teach you guys how i created this this part one is just to get you guys you know your feet wet with on if this is the first time using on but if you just wanted to create an afro you could you can stop stop this story right now yeah just like and subscribe stop this story and go to the next one but if you want to learn more and let me show you some tips and tricks in which i use in creating this jump on to part two so guys uh that's the end of part one uh do all those good stuff like subscribe I love you guys and uh, I like to see what you guys do too. Like if you've done if you're following up and you created a sphere, yeah, you can send me you can send me some images. Let me see. I would really love to see what you guys have done. So drop your comments, all that good stuff. Like subscribe. See you soon. Peace. Bye.